At number three tonight, taking action against school shootings. Tonight, a local university is stepping up the effort to fight back in the event of an active shooter in a unique way. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell joins us live now with more on this from Oakland University. And Alan, this is quite the approach. Yeah, it's definitely different for sure, Glenda. In fact, faculty here at Oakland University have been training for quite some time for an active gunman situation inside their classroom. Well, now teachers have something extra in that fight. Hockey pucks. Officials say they're small, they can hurt, and they can distract an active shooter. What can we bring to campus to better prepare ourselves should we have to fight? They're new stories that tear at your heart. Innocent teachers and students ruthlessly killed by an active shooter. But one university is fighting back with hockey pucks. If you threw it at a gunman, it would cause um, probably some injury. It would, exact, it would be a, a distraction if nothing else. Hockey pucks, they're heavy, small enough to carry in backpacks or in your pocket and can do some harm. Part of the strategy for fighting is you need to create a distraction to give yourself time as a group in a classroom to rush the gunman so you can get your hands on the gun and secure it and take it away from the shooter. Oakland University Police Chief Mark Gordon says so far 800 faculty members have received pucks and an additional 1700 will be distributed to students. I find it at first absurd. What good will it do? I mean, if there's an armed person coming in, why would you chuck a puck at them? What's it going to do? Nothing. Students on campus have a different opinion about the idea of having pucks to deter an active shooter and believe it's not the greatest of ideas. If I was to give you a puck and I had a gun, would I be able to take you out? <laughs> Easily, yeah. I mean, it, puck's not going to distract me or stop me from shooting someone. And the Oakland University Faculty Union actually organized those training sessions. They also donated $5,000 to the university so that they can purchase in-classroom door locks. We're now reporting live here at Oakland University. I'm Alan Campbell. Glenda Dave will send it back to you.